All right, if you have a outdoor battery power security camera, you know the hassle that sometimes that battery goes dead right when you don't want it to. And it can be a pain sometimes to get out there and charge them up. So the way to keep from doing that is to get a solar panel for your camera. And this will keep that battery charged all year round, especially if you pick the right size. Now, if you pick the wrong size one, it might not be able to keep up. And then obviously it does need sunlight uh, to work. So you have to have it in a place that it can get sun. But let's go in and review this one. I'll show you this one. It's an A-Zone one. And now the important thing to know with a solar panel is they come in different sizes and therefore different power outputs and that's what you want to look at if I compare this to a ring solar panel ring standard solar panel is 2.4 watts of power they also now have a super solar panel and that one is 5 watts of power and you know they recommend that for you know ones their camera gets a lot of motion or if it's in a less sunlight place where you only get a couple hours of sun a day now this one's actually 7 watts of power and Azone does make different sizes. You can get different ones. They're smaller and cheaper. But this one is actually half the price of the, the Ring big one. And it's actually more power. So I'm going to show it. This little camera here I have is a uh, Nui Outdoor Pro Cam. But they also uh, work on pretty much any camera that has a USB micro or USB-C port. It, it's a 5 volt DC output. But there are a bunch of cameras that actually have a different connector. And that's things like Ring, Wise, Arlo, Google, Nest. Some of those cameras have a different port on them. And like if they have the little round um, connector, then you would need to get an adapter to go from this USB style to that style. Or you would want to look for a different um, connector on the solar panel. Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, so in the box here, you have your main solar panel, and you can see this guy is a nice, compact, nice and thin unit, and then it has a 10-foot cable, so that should give you plenty of space uh, to position this where it gets sunlight, even if the camera's up underneath an eave or facing, um, you know, facing the north direction where it doesn't get a lot of sun, and then... Um, you can also tie this up and you know secure it if you don't need that full length. All right, so the mounting bracket has three holes in there for screwing on to whatever surface, and then it has this center nut, which goes over this guy that you assemble, and this gives you one of your many degrees of freedom for this um, mount here. So you can hopefully mount it in um, any position that will work. And so what you can do here is this can rotate 360 degrees around that way, and then this obviously rotates um, up and down and all right so once you tighten that nut down it locks everything in place where it's at so you want to position it you have this loose and this allows you to rotate and then it also allows you to rotate this um, this pivot here with the ball mount on it and so this should give you the option to uh, position this solar panel however you need so it gets the most sunlight and typically up here you know I'm in Michigan so northern hemisphere you want to have this pointed towards the south and kind of at an angle uh, towards the sun. You know, the closer you are to the equator, maybe the more upright you want it. Up here, the farther north I am, I'm kind of going to angle it um, more down uh, towards the, the south because that's where uh, the sun is most of the time. So the standard port on this cable that it comes with is a micro USB, but uh, because USB-C is becoming more and more uh, popular, they offer this adapter cable, comes with a kit, and this allows you to plug in your micro USB with this little weatherproof uh, grommet, and then it turns it into a USB-C. Now for this Nui camera, it actually is a USB uh, micro, so I am all set there. I can literally just take off this little port that it has, and now this cable will plug directly into here, and we can test it out and see just how much um, you know, solar power this gets, but this 7 watt should be plenty to keep this camera charged all day, every day. Now another note in case um, you're not aware, the camera does need to be a battery powered camera. There are cameras out there that have a USB port and they have no battery. They're designed to be plugged into AC. A solar panel will not work for that because it needs to have some kind of battery to um, kind of bank up and store that energy uh, out there. So. If you have a battery powered one, USB, it'll work right away. If you wanted to get creative, um, you could get adapters to go from USB to um, the round plugs if that's what it has. 
and so long as it supports 5 volt DC input, it will work. All right, so I've had this outside for an hour plugged in. The percent of charge went up 10% in that time frame. So that tells me obviously it needs 10 hours to go to a full charge, but you know, that normally isn't needed because the battery only loses maybe, you know, one or 2% a day typically with the regular amount of motion activity. So this tells me with one hour of sunlight a day, I can typically more than cover every um, orientation or location I have this camera, even if it gets lots of motion every day. So uh, this looks like pretty good. I'm pretty excited to see how it lasts long term and never have to charge a battery again.